Ja, ja. 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 Yeah, so it's Sunday, and that means race four of the sixth race marathon here in Berlin. I'm just going to approach today like, like any other day. I, have, I, have, I haven't actually done any math of like where I need to finish and who needs to finish where, and I, and I won't do it. I know if I finish the day with a 60-point lead, we've got it in the bag. I currently have a 68-point lead, but let's go and do my race, and then once I cross the line, they'll tell me. Mate, this morning was a little bit harder to wake up, I have to say. Um, but it's, it's hard work for the mechanics, and especially with so many days like this, you know, in a row. So these guys, you know, this is where we'll start to see mistakes from teams now, is on the operational side. People are getting tired. It's the fourth race day since we're here. We have two more after this, so... Obviously, you've got to look at it as a bit of a marathon event. And on top of that, we've got obviously the wearing the masks, you know, that's not easy, you know, especially for the mechanics, they wear them all day. It's already hard enough for them as it is. And then obviously less personnel, so less mechanics, less engineers. Um, it's been reduced, the numbers, so that adds another element. And obviously then the format, you know, we've got long days here, you know, FP1's around eight, the race is at seven at night. And it's not like we do that once or twice and we go home, you know, then we've got to repeat it um, for, for nine days. So it's brutal for everyone involved. I think that the biggest challenge is the strain of running day in, day out for six races, six consecutive days, that nobody will have any rest and any, you'll be a, a lot of mental stress and try to keep a level of performance all this time it's going to be very stressful it's uh, super hot during this week as well which uh, which doesn't help and and there's no escaping as well there's no really a room where we can kind of hide and and refresh it's just hot everywhere which uh, just makes it uh, makes it intense you know the adrenaline definitely keeps you pushing through what I can do is to make sure that my mechanics, my engineers, they are focused, they are motivated. Uh, I don't create any extra work for them by crashing or doing any mistakes myself. Big oh, oh. Robin Fries is in the wall. Oh, Massa got well out of shape. And Vern hits De Vries. They bang wheels. And Gunter hits Evans. And Evans is sent spinning around. It's a nightmare. It's the worst feeling. But your head just, you have to think about the car. You, straight away, you think about the damage, what they're telling you, what. Could, could that damage could cause something else and you need to get ready as quick as you can to get that car back out. Just doing a normal double header with two races is hard, but doing six is very hard. It's very hard going on your body, it's sort of long hours, but the car is 100% like the main priority and you get tired, but you just pick yourself up and you carry on. You know, the hunger these guys have to win is huge and uh, they, they sacrifice sleep for, for the good results. We have a lot to thank them for, so yeah, try and win this for them as well. And on the streets of Berlin at Tempelhof Airport, it is a remarkable achievement. Diaz Tejita wrap up the drivers and the team's title. Antonio Felix da Costa, the champion of Formula E. Just won this, guys. <laughs> what a draw. Oh my god. Awesome job, guys. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've lost for words, man. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, the Cheetah, for, for bringing me the best chance of my life. I have no words, guys. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the chance.